In this video, we will show you why container potato gardening is easier and how to get 5 to 6 kgs of potatoes from a single potato. Potatoes grow surprisingly well in a pot. It's the ideal way of growing them if you are short on space. You can even grow them on a patio or balcony. Subscribe and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Urban Gardening. Take a seed potato with lots of eyes. Eyes are small spots on the skin. This is the part that germinates. Cut the seed potato into 2 inch chunks that must have at least one eye on them. Be careful not to cut through an eye because that is what will be germinating. Choose the largest pot you can find. Pot 15 to 18 inch wide and deep will work just fine. Make sure it has some drainage holes at the bottom. Use a loose, well-draining soil mix to fill your container about one-third full. For the soil mix, use a mix of 50% garden soil, 30% cattle manure and 20% river sand. Now put the chunks over the soil mix. Plant them 5 to 7 inches apart and cover them with 3 to 5 inches of soil mix. Place potato chunks over the soil surface with the eyes facing upward. You will need to keep adding soil as the plants grow so don't overfill the pot at this point. Water well after planting. Potatoes need moist soil in order to grow, so check the soil every 2 to 3 days. If it's beginning to dry out, water it until it's moist but not soggy. Shoots will start to arise after 8 to 12 days. Potatoes do best with the soil that is moist but not soggy. Waterlogged soil can actually lead to the growth of fungus. When the shoots have grown to 3 to 5 inches tall, cover with another layer of soil mix. Keep doing this until you have reached the top of the pot. The key to bountiful potato production is a process called hilling. Because tuber form horizontally underground of the main shoot, you can increase your production by adding more soil around the plant as it grows. You will likely need to repeat this process multiple times during the growing cycle. The process is similar to mounding potatoes that were planted in the garden. You can cover the entire plant with soil or choose to leave the leaves exposed. Choose a spot in your garden with lots of sun. Potatoes grow best with 5 to 8 hours of sunlight a day but they do not do well with too much heat. At this stage, cover container potatoes with more soil and continue to cover the small plants until you reach the top of the bag. Container potatoes should be kept well watered but not soggy.
Soak the pot thoroughly every 2 to 3 days, allowing the soil to almost dry out between watering to promote a steady potato formation. If your potatoes do not get enough moisture, then they will be undersized or more susceptible to diseases and pests. There is a quick and simple way to determine when, if you need to water. Take soil on your hand. If the soil feels dry, then it is time to water again. Somewhere around 80 to 100 days after their plant date, your potatoes will begin to show signs that they have matured. The leaves will turn yellow and the foliage will start to die back, meaning it's almost time to harvest them. At this phase, leave them in the soil for an additional one week, then dig them up. Dig them out of the pot by hand or dump it out and root through the soil to harvest your potatoes. Gently dip into the soil with your hand and pull the plants out of the container. Pull off each potato with your hand and brush the soil off of each one. Potatoes are a wonderful source of nutrients and can be stored for long periods of time after harvesting. After harvesting, let your potatoes dry out in a cool, dry area. Once they are dry, the potatoes can be stored in jute bags or cloth bags. Avoid storing them in plastic bags as the potatoes will sweat and begin to rot. Cook your potatoes right away or store them for later use. For storage, begin by dusting off the dirt, then let them dry for a couple of days. They are best stored in baskets or paper bags that allow them to breathe. 